wonderful walk on a beautiful LA day. If you don't know, my name is Grace Yu, and I am the candidate running that you're walking for today. Thank you. Guys, we're going to make history, and you young people, we're going to do it, okay? We've got some old timers here who know what it takes to make the change, but it's really the youth who makes the change, because you have different ideas. You still think things are possible? Yes. And you know what? I must be young because I think things are possible. Yes. yes, I'm your parents' age, but I can make things possible. And look, we're standing in front of a church. I say with the power of prayer, it all works. Who, who says amen? amen? Amen. Amen. That's right. Guys, I am so grateful. It, you know, my friends came up with this slogan, LA needs you. Uh-huh. Right? Yes. Do you know why we need the change? Do you see our neighborhood here? You know, your parents go driving down the street. The streets aren't paved well. Our roads, the LA Times gave the CD10, the district that I'm running for, they gave an F grade to 466 streets. 466 streets in District 10 received a grade of F. I know your parents would all freak out if you came home with an F. But this city says it's okay. We're not fixing it. And you're like, wait, we're not fixing it? Is the city supposed to do that? Yes. The city government is supposed to fix the streets. They're supposed to make sure that the lights are working so that when you're driving at night or walking at night, your neighborhood is safe. To help make the neighborhood safe, I worked with the Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, to go ahead and bring this community that used to be one of the worst for crime rates to one of the best. LAPD loves to showcase Olympic Police Department as one of its best because they have officers who understand that you need to have good community relations. So having good relationships with police officers will entail that our community is served better, that our crime rates go down, that people trust one another. And honestly, most people out there who are voters don't trust the politicians. And honestly, I can't blame them. I too often am very tired of the lies or the untruths. So let's not say it's a complete lie. We'll say they didn't tell the whole truth. That is called an omission, when you don't do something. And the city omits a lot of things that need to get done. For youth in this area, we don't have parks. There's no place for you to go play basketball or tennis or volleyball. We don't have things that other communities have. It seems kind of unfair, don't you think? Yes. Where's your park? Where's our park? Yes. We were supposed to get a park. We got 10 million from the, from the state. Sacramento sent to LA $10 million for a park. Did you guys see a brand new park go up? No, because the money was sent back to Sacramento because we had people down here who didn't act upon the money. The money was sent, they didn't use it, and the money got sent back up to Sacramento. There's also special Proposition K that gave money to parks. And what city council members often do is ask the people who are in charge of the Prop K money to go ahead and build a park. We still don't have a park, and I met with one of the commissioners who serves on that commission, and he told me that there's money to build a park. And so, if I'm elected, you better believe I will do everything possible to work to bring that park into this district. Woo! Yes, we need it. On Thursday, I joined with LA County for the homeless count. Just like we have a U.S. Census count to see how many people live in L.A. County, we also look at how many homeless don't have homes. Luckily, you all have homes. 
You know, it might be an apartment, it might be a condo, it might be a house, but your parents are able to give you a roof over your your heads. You don't have to worry about rain coming through the tent, the makeshift tent, right? We're lucky, but there are people in our neighborhoods who are not as lucky as we are, and we need to care for them as well. And I know you're going to help me do that. You're helping me to get elected so that I can be in city council making those changes. Anybody know how many city council districts there are in LA City? 15 is the answer. Okay, adults, don't answer this. Kids, there are 15 city council members. How many do you think are women? One. One out of 15 is a woman. Ladies, girls, what do you think? Is that right? No way. And guys, it seems a little strange, right? To have 15 city council members and only one woman. What is this? Here we are in the 21st century. 62 years ago, we had the first female city council member. She was amazing. Her name was Rosalind Wyman. Roz, as she likes to be called, she made waves. Can you imagine 62 years ago? She's 84 now and still active in civic life. So you guys may be starting young, but you have a head start on your seniors. You can speak English, perhaps Spanish, or Korean, or Tagalog, or Cambodian. It's, a, it's an honor to be able to speak different languages. My Korean is definitely passable, and my Spanish is enough to get me by. I made it through Spain with my limited Spanish. But languages are really important, guys. And it looks like my campaign manager, Michael, wants me to give up the mic. So I'll do that, and I'll come back to you in a minute. She is exactly right. Hello, everyone. My name is Mike. I am Grace's campaign manager and cousin. So can we all please give a round of applause to Grace yeah. for kind of getting us going?